before we go off into Dreamweaver, we need to understand our web page and our approach to building our portfolio website. Web pages are not that complicated, but if you don't really stop and take time to understand the process of how a website is built and how a web page is programmed, it can be pretty complex as time goes on. But we're going to stop now and we're going to take a look at how a website is actually constructed. In programming a web page, we're going to be using HTML, which is the hypertext markup language. It's easy, it's not very complicated, anybody can learn how to use uh, HTML, it just takes time and practice. We're going to use uh, a basic text editor approach. We can show you how you can use a basic text editor to create your web page. Uh, for advanced pages, you're going to need a more powerful tool to build a more complex and more sophisticated website. And obviously, that solution is going to be Adobe Dreamweaver. Why Dreamweaver? Well, Dreamweaver speeds up the programming processes dramatically. It allows to, to you to do very complex functions much easier. It automates countless functions when you're building your website. It's easy to interface with remote servers, which is a huge advantage when you're trying to manage large websites and you're trying to transfer HTML files and data back and forth from your development computer to your actual site that's going to be hosting your website. It simplifies, it simplifies complex functions and tasks. For instance, like if you're going to build a pull-down menu or you're going to have a form on your website, Dreamweaver is a great tool for doing such things. Let's look at the structure of a web page. It has a head at the very top of it, kind of like a human body. And then also at the head, it has the title of the web page itself. And I'll show you that here in a moment. It also, in the head section of a web page, is where you store your cascading style sheet information, which is what I have designated here as the CSS. But for the content of your web page, where you actually put your information, that's known as the body. And in that is where you put all your text information, you put your pictures, you put your movies, you put just about anything you need out there. It could be uh, flash files, it could be other types of data that's important to your web page that you're building. Here's an example of exactly what I'm talking about of a basic simple web page code. Uh, in the foreground here you see the actual text editor here. And notice at the top you open up a web page with the, with the HTML tag and you have the head and then in the head you have your uh, My Simple Web Page title. If you look up here behind this uh, Hello World web page, you see right up here it says My Simple Web Page. And that's what the title is designated here. And down in the body it says Hello World. Well, that's basically all that's in the body of this web page. So that's a very, very simple example. If you're going to build web pages like that, you really don't need Dreamweaver. You can just use a basic text editor. But that's not the kind of web pages we're going to be building and the websites we're going to be building. We're going to need Dreamweaver. We're going to need a much more complex and powerful tool to manage some of the complex things that we're going to actually be doing. So let's go build our portfolio website. And let's have some fun while we're doing it.